Okay, Nifty Thrifty Girl featuring a vintage Singer Model 15-125. This is pretty much the twin sister of the 1591, except in mint green. Um, has all the same, it's all the same as the 1591. Um, I am not sure if the manufacturer time was different. I suppose I could probably research that farther, but... Um, it uses the class 15 bobbins, just like the 1591. It has the, you know, the bobbin case that has the finger going the opposite way. It threads the, the same as the 1591. It has the potted motor like the 1591. Everything is the same. But this is the 15125. The cosmetics overall are really decent on this one. They're not perfect. Um, it does have a few dings in the paint along the edges as well as some kind of a reddish pink substance that we could not get off. I don't know if it's permanent marker or what, but we could not get it off using a couple of different things, so it's going to stay on there. Um, of course, it's serviced and ready to go, the same as our machines always are. The wiring is in good shape. It is the original green, but it's still pliable and in good shape. You do get some attachments with it. You get a, um, a ruffler, a binder, an adjustable hammer, bobbins, and a hammer foot. So you do get some goodies with it, and it does use just standard class 15 bobbins and standard 15 by 1 needles. I will send you a PDF copy of a manual for a 1591 or the 15125 if I can find that. I'm not sure if I have that, but if nothing else, I will send you the manual for the 1591, which is the, which is the twin sister. So, and as I said, it is ready to go. Of course, it is a low shank, straight stitch only machine, the way it sits, and it is, um, it has reverse and forward. There is no, oh yeah, there is feed dog drop, I'm sorry, just like the 1591. You have to unscrew the bolt under here to drop your feed dogs. Your bobbin winder's over here on the wheel, of course. And here we go. Like I said, it is serviced and ready to go. The foot is kind of touchy, but it can um, sew in slow, as you can see. But it's very touchy, fine line between slow and fast. So. And of course, I'm standing doing this, so that doesn't make it any easier. I can, like, really, really get it going, too. Like I said, I'm standing, so that makes a little bit of a difference on the control. And as you can see, it's it's ready to rock and roll. Of course, that's just a couple layers of cotton. Um, this is five layers of a real thick denim. It's not chintzy denim at all. And I am only using a size 14 needle right now. But it is sufficient to take care of this. You get it going slow. I don't want to bust through this denim like with speed. There we go. Nice on five layers of denim. A really nice stitch. Of course, the potted motor means there's no belt to change just like the 1591 as well. And of course, being, because this is a Singer, it can go in any cabinet or carrying case that's meant for a Singer, or as you can see, it does just fine on the tabletop. Nice stitch on the, the denim, and this is a couple layers of suede leather. Um, nothing too thick or anything. This is not an industrial machine. I'm not going to in here and tell you that it's going to sew a wallet or a belt because it's not meant for that and you will burn it up. But as you can see, it can handle a couple layers of just domestic leather. Not sure of the weight. It makes a nice stitch on the leather too. Um, if you have any questions, my email is underneath the video. MomsDragonWagon at gmail.com this machine will be on eBay for sale. I am Nifty Thrifty Girl over there. And that's about it. And that is the Singer Model 15-125.